Are, are somebody has been digging in this area for crystals. So many beautiful rocks. That's a nice thing to find on my way out. Hi everybody, it's Kate from Katie Did, and I am here with my son Kian and his wife Madison, and of course Mr. Did and Kava, and we are near Lake Delmo, and we're looking for quartz crystals, which of course, you know, once again, we don't really know what we're doing, but I just found this lying on the ground. So now at least we know what we're looking for. This is, it starts with a P. Pegmatite? Pegmatite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And it has a quartz crystal in it. Let's see if we can find some All more. Right. So this is definitely pegmatite here. <laughs> And I think what I'm going to do, just because it has this interesting hole in it, is I'm going to dig and see if there's anything in there. There's probably not. But the next thing that we'll do after that is to try to find... Actually, maybe I'll send you guys out and see if you can find some where somebody's been digging since you wanted to, to hike. Does that sound okay? Sure. All right. There, you have an assignment. Forward expedition. See, this is a rock I just pulled out of there. I was really kind of hoping it was going to be a crystal. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, it's kind of cool. Looks like maybe there's a crystal formation right there. There is a crystal there. Hey! It's not a very big one, but it's a crystal. First dug a crystal. Instead of picking it up off the ground, you <laughs> dug it out of the ground. I actually think there's quite a few crystals in here, but they're all really quite small and so I'm not gonna bother trying to excavate anymore. The kids just found a dig site over on the other side, or at least something that could be a dig site, so we're gonna go take a look. Are, are we, somebody has been digging in this area for crystals, and that's exactly what we're looking for, so good job, you guys. We're rockhounds now. Are there any crystals in this one? <laughs> of course there are. <laughs> Jinky Scoob. <laughs> This one looks like it might be a whole one almost. Maybe smoky quartz. That is I'm pretty try darn to cool. Break it up a bit. Yeah. Oh, you sure did. I did it. You are a crystal finder. Look at it. It's actually pretty big. Yeah, those are great. I love the. I love the texture. It smells so shiny. Crystal. Now you have something for your new house. <gasps> yeah, new house rack. Oh, oh no. Kian! Don't get it. <laughs> yes! I know how we're landscaping the house! Same thing? I think yes. It's this is smoky quartz, mm -hmm. and so sometimes it's darker than others. I mean, good job for you. Good job. That one's interesting. Yeah, it's Whoa. See, I thought it would be much harder to find than this. Oh, isn't that pretty? Yeah. That one's so cool. It's got all kinds of little tiny ones just sticking out of it. It's like a mix bag. Nice. Now I wish I brought my... Where did that dog go? Kava, come here. Yeah, perfect. That's perfect. Look at these. Now some of these could actually be... There's black tourmaline up here. I'm wondering if some of these, that's what they are. I don't really know the difference. I know, surprise. Take Kate off the Yellowstone River and she doesn't have a clue about anything. But it's great to look at. Gosh, look at that. It's like purpley colored, yeah? They have amethyst up here, I think. Is this this tourmaline you were talking about? Ooh, oh, look at that. You've got points on that. <gasps> Madison, that is just a beautiful piece. Yeah, and it matches the ones that are down here. There's more of it. Someone broke it off to get at something else, I think. Wow, well, I'm totally gonna come and do, like scope it out here. Yeah. All right, we should have brought a bag, huh? Well, there's a basket back at the car. I, we could fill up my food basket with rocks. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. Rock Kremlin, let's go! I feel bad for him. Wow. Look at this. It's just a big clump. I don't think, I don't think I could probably clean that out. It just seems a little bit too dense. 
That sure is awesome. I'm sure we'll find something. And then that's it. Look at that. And there's a huge one right over here. Madison is like, she's just, I think it's like squirrel. She sees everything. <laughs> wow. It's an ADHD brain. I'm ready. Wow. I this is safe. great. There's some cool things that are terminated, almost. I thought that there would be really, they would be hard to find, but in fact, there's a whole bunch of them. So the clue is just look for where people have been digging. One thing to be aware of is that there are dirt bike trails. You can maybe hear it in the background. Isn't that lovely? So very, very peaceful. I think I'm gonna take this one home to try to cut it because it has so many crystals inside it. And this stuff kind of feels like common opal, even though I know this stuff is called pe pegmatite. So maybe they're the same hardness or something. I want to try making a cab out of this, a cabochon. The pegmatite has a hardness of seven, as does quartz. So it's possible that it would work. And if it did, wow, how pretty that would be. This is the end of it. Boy, I really like this. I think that's some black tourmaline seated right next to some quartz crystals. Nice. Very cool. You are looking through I managed it's, to it's like a... not have not have a proper a chisel, one. so Jim is trying to make do with Something. Valiantly, I'm trying He's valiantly. trying valiantly to make me happy. Yeah, those crystals are actually, you can see the formation of them. That's kind of what we're after. We want to keep the crystals with their edges. I didn't toss it quite far enough. I know that's more of an expedition. Is that how you back to the road? The road's that way. That's so pretty. It doesn't quite have the points on it, but you sure can see the crystal shapes. Ooh, look at this little guy. Just amazing. So what I know about these crystals is that this rock is pegmatite, and pegmatite is formed way deep underground. It's an igneous, intru intrusive igneous rock. And that means that it cooled underground which means it cooled really really slowly and that's why these crystals form because the slower the rock cools the bigger the crystals are and clearly there was a lot of cooling look how these crystals grew in the spray pattern like that that is so neat i guess you're gonna get tired of me saying that wow just just wow I love this place. Okay, last piece. This one has some of that black stuff and some of the quartz. It's got a nice chunky rim of pegmatite all cemented together. We'll take that and clean it up. expecting something nicer <laughs> but wow what a great place I want to come back here with a camper spend a couple days really find some good stuff with the proper material and tools right Jim that's right anyway a rock hammer and a screwdriver is not sufficient <laughs> Ken and Madison thank you for finding such a great place and I hope you enjoyed yourself mm -hmm. yeah next time we bring a jackhammer we're ready <laughs> <laughs> this is Kate from Katie did Keep on doing. You want to say it? Keep on doing. Keep on doing. <laughs> it's actually snowing while sleeting. And it's accumulating. Check it out. I just want to share with everybody this awesome gift that I got from one of my channel members. Her name is Karen and she lives here locally. And uh, she has been learning how to make wire wrapping and she made this just for me. It is an absolutely beautiful 
absolutely beautiful waterline agate and is wrapped to be a turtle. And she noticed that I liked turtles and so she made this for me and I just think it's so, so amazing. I, I want to share the story of why I love sea turtles um, and why I even have a sea turtle tattoo on my leg. When a few years ago, my mom and I went to Hawaii and one of the things I love to do is snorkel. So we went to this beach on Kauai that was famous for snorkeling and I was just floating around having a really good time and I looked up all of a sudden and there was this huge knobbly monster right in front of me just like all I could see was this knobbly thing and so I popped up out of the water and there was a sea turtle swimming away. At the same time my mom was yelling her head off and I'm like, what the heck is going on? And I turned around and she's like, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't snorkel. I can't get the, I can't make it work. And it turned out that she was trying to put her, I think she was trying to keep from putting her face in the water while she was doing it. And she, so she was not able to float because of the tension that she was having in her body. And eventually she just let go. She saw all these little kids swimming around and she decided, by gosh, if these little kids can, can float around in this water, I certainly can. And she just relaxed, she let go, and she was able to float and enjoy the beauty all around her. And that turtle then has always represented for me this ability to just let go and enjoy the beauty. And so Karen, I wanna thank you so, so much both for being a channel member and for sending me this beautiful, beautiful turtle. And uh, I will see you on the river. I just want to say a special thank you to channel members who support this channel. James Jones, Sally Vetter, Lisa Largent, Beryl Ingram, Karen Boyson, Cockatoo Birdman Bill, Sarah McDonough, Lynn D. Brooks, Britt, Dale Jensen, Linda Mast, E. Lynn Horstman, and Cheryl Amy, who has been a member the longest.